Active campaign viral loops. We're going to set up a campaign that rewards people for sending people to your site and getting them to sign up to your active campaign account. So we're going to set up a refer a friend campaign that only allows participation after they've signed up and it uses an active campaign form to capture leads then a viral loop form on the thank you page to invite that person to get more people to sign up. And to do so, we're going to use, we're going to need to get into your website control panel, the admin area of WordPress. You'll need to have a viral loops and an active campaign account. So let's dive right in. Okay, to start with, you'll need to create a web form and get people to sign up, obviously. And there's not much you need to do out of the ordinary here. We're even just going to eliminate this part right here and just keep email. But the one thing you do need to do is under options, open a URL. And you want to send them to a particular script on your site that will drop a cookie and then send them on to the final thank you page. So in this case, and I'm going to show you by pasting it in the browser, I'm going to put it right here. It's going to my site, to my WordPress site, and we're going to create a script called viral-loop.php, and then we need to have this, and I need to fix that. So we're going to send email equals, and then active campaign will make the appropriate substitution, and then we have to have the ampersand URL equals, and then the real thank you page that we want people to go to. So I want to copy that here, open URL. That is the biggie, if you will. You want to make sure they're going to the viral-loop.php with the email and the URL information appended to the query string. Got it? All right, let's keep moving on. So next thing to do is copy the code, and I'm just simply going to use the embed code right there. And I'm going to go to my WordPress site, and I'm going to create a page called Sign Up. And because I've got this embed code, all I need to do is make sure I'm in text mode, paste that in, click on Update or Save if you're just creating it. And let's go take a look at it, make sure it looks right. So there, there's the web form, so that's perfect. That's all you need to do on that. Now, we got to do a little code. So inside your cPanel account, you're going to want to go to File Manager. You wouldn't want to go down into where your WordPress is installed. In this case, I have it in a subdirectory called WP. I'm going to create a file called viral-loop.php. And then I want to edit that file. And here's what I want to paste in. So we're going to actually have to come back and fill this in. So there's some information that will need to go right between those double quotes. But for now, this is all we need to do, and that's the only change you're going to need to make. To give you an idea of what it's doing, it's basically looking for um, a cookie. If a cookie's been set, then we want to read that. And we also want to make sure there's an email in the query string. And then it's going to grab that cookie, which is called referral code, and send that information with the email back to viral loops to verify that person. And then finally, it's going to send them to the final destination. So that's it. We'll save this for now and come back later. Now, inside your viral loops account, you're going to want to create a refer a friend campaign. And we'll just walk through this quickly. Let's give it a name. And the URL where we want to send it to, and it's going to be this. And it doesn't really matter which one of these you do. So we're just going to walk along. So we've done info, rewarding, widgets, etc. So let's go to rewarding. So we're not going to give the invitee a reward. So I'm just going to nuke that one there. We are going to give a reward. And we can call it whatever we want. Sign up. And let's just say for up to three referrals or unlimited referrals. And we're not going to worry about setting up the automa automatic API rewarding. We're just going to use manual. So I'm just going to leave that as is for now. 
widgets. Um, let's use the in-app widget. I'm gonna go on to the next step, which is notifications. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that as is. Integrations, we could connect to a lot of different things. In this case, we don't really need to. Now, we before we grab the uh, code that's gonna be over here, I'll just click on that. We wanna leave this as HTML. We and click on install instructions. And we'll, we'll get that in a minute. But the first thing you need to do is copy this API token, go back to your viral loop script that you created, and right here where it says API token, paste that in and go ahead and save that. And we're done with this, so we can close that down. So next thing we need to do is actually before um, we copy this code and embed it, we're gonna have to do something inside our WordPress site. So back to WordPress. Now, if you have a theme that allows you to paste script at, in the footer of specific pages, you can use that capability. Otherwise, here's what I recommend doing. So you wanna go to Appearance, Editor, and you want to go to theme functions and scroll all the way to the bottom and you're going to want to paste in this code right here so notice there's a part one and a part two this part one here all it does is it grabs the referral code that gets sent over from viral loops and stores it as a cookie for up to a year the second part is, is required if you don't have page specific footer loading capabilities. So you can just put this in here and then you want to replace this part right here with all of this code right there. Get rid of the white space. So if you had capability of pasting this into the footer on a specific page, you would paste this code right here in. Now, to show you what this is doing, this is taking advantage of WordPress's add action capability into the footer, and we're only gonna put it on pages that have thank you in it, which is the name we're gonna give our page. Thank you is gonna be the slug, if you will. So I'm gonna go ahead and update that now, I want to create a thank you page, and I'm just gonna say thank you for signing up. Now, when this play page displays, there will be a little widget at the bottom. Any other page should not have that. So let's take a look and make sure the pages look the way we want them to. So let's take a look at the view of the sign up page. And there's no widget popping up or anything like that, great. Now let's take a look at the thank you page. And right there, there's an invite. Now, because I didn't sign up, I've got this presented. But when I'm actually a referred person, this will automatically populate so that the, that person can then invite somebody else. So to start with, I'm actually going to add myself and then I'm gonna refer somebody else. Great. I can invite them through email right here if I want, or I can copy that and I can share that with others. Now, because this uses cookies, I'm going to want to use a different browser to test this out. But first, let's go back and look at our campaign. So there's one participant. There's me, I have no referrals as of now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and refer somebody else, which by the way is going to be me. I'm gonna go ahead and sign up as a different person. So now if we go to Viral Loops account, our Viral Loops account, and we look, we now have two participants. The original sign up and then the one that just signed up um, that was referenced by this person. Notice they've got a count of one. So that's how you use ActiveCampaign and Viral Loops together.